Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Persona 3 FES. So you might be like, but Super Genius, it was evening when you left. Yes, it was, but I just took the liberty of going to Tartarus here, and I did a, did a bit of grinding. Uh, I got us up to level 69. I did it alone. I just brought Sosuke to Tartarus with Odin alone. And, yeah. Uh, also, something of note is that Odin did get the Spellmaster ability, which does indeed um, reduce the amount of... Uh, SP, all your abilities cost by half. It's wonderful. Doesn't work on your HP abilities. It's Spellmaster, after all. Um, there is there is a, an HP ability one as well. I think it's... I don't remember, actually. But there is one out there, as I recall. However, uh, with that grinding out of the way, uh, that'll be important for some requests that we can do in the future. Um... Let's just get on with winter vacation. It is almost over, after all. Almost over, meaning we're almost done with the moon social link as well. Just two more days. Today we just gotta go spend time with him, and tomorrow we'll match him out. Um, oh, also, something of note is that I had called this song that plays in the dorm, uh, I had called it Memories of the City. Uh, I had my TV volume too low, I couldn't even hear it. I just knew Memories of the City played. That song doesn't actually play till you get outside. This song is, as I got a million thousand comments saying, uh, Living with Determination. Which is uh, the song that plays during like the sad scenes throughout the game. However, this one... This one is Memories of the City. So, my apologies, my apologies, for that uh, grievous error on my part. Okay, Nozomi, let's finish you up right now. Because we have other things to do, other things to be spending our time on. We have a new social link to start, too. So, okay. One more day, and tonight, uh, tonight is Wednesday, so we could go... We could go match Mr. Monkey Man while we are here. Sure, why not? Welcome back. Thank you, Mitsuru. Oh, we were just there last night. How about I make you a deal? We will go on Friday, Mitsuru. We'll go on Friday the 8th. So, um, until then, I actually have things to do in the evening times. So, I'm sorry, it'll just have to wait. Don't worry, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fail you. Mitsuru, I could never fail you. You are Mitsuru, after all. That would be just unacceptable to me. Let's just get back. Hello there, glasses guy. I've heard that. No, no, I'll pass, thanks. I, I already have one cult guy that I'm hanging out with. I don't need another one. Appreciate, appreciate the offer, though. Thank you. Okay. Upstairs. Oh, Monkey Man is here Thursday through Sunday. That's completely my fault. Lol. I can't believe I made that mistake. This far in, we're going to hang out with him for the final time, and I make a mistake on what day he shows up. Okay, well, while we're here, we could go to Game Panic, because we do have uh, the Lucky Fortune, so we can increase Odin's magic stat, which is wonderful, considering his magic stat is super high already. But more damage, the better, if you ask me. I might even consider putting some incense cards into him, possibly. Hi, Mitsuru. Uh, I just told you the other day, I'm a little... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't. Ugh. Pains my soul to say no. But, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do for your friends. So I fight for my friends. After all. Something like that. Final day. Final day of winter break right here. You guys ready? Ready to max out the moon? I was quite surprised to see the reaction to Nozomi in the comments. Um, yeah. I, I was very surprised to see what you guys had to say. I mean, to each their own. I don't really hate on social links that way, or at least I try not to. Um, I don't know. Let's just go hang out with him. Stop dwelling on that. Get outside. Stop playing the sad song. Play Memories of the City, which is also sad, but in a more... Oh... It's not overtly sad. It's more like 
emotion and thought provoking as opposed to living with determination which just kind of sounds sad and somber i don't know it's it feels like a different type of sadness to me if that makes any sense nozomi how are you you want to go eat something yeah ramen shop okay let's go have and eat or we could just stand here that too Okay, what does that have to do with last time, however? Um, yeah, about last time, let's go eat! Yeah, yeah, that makes perfect sense, Nozomi, thank you. I, you did show me the secret menu here, though. So, I mean, I can't, I can't really hate on you, you know? The secret menu here is awesome. Oh, so you were fraternal twins? Is that the right one? You were able to surpass him in size. It's not good. Uh huh. Food poisoning kind of sucks. Makes you puke and stuff. Wait, he died from food poisoning? I don't even know. I guess... I don't know. I just don't want to piss him off at this point. Uh-huh. But what if they weren't actually laughing at you, Nozomi? That... You have voices in your head. Oh. Um, you might want to go to a doctor for that. Um... No. No, you won't. Definitely recommend a doctor. Um, you should be whoever you want to be, however. I agree with that. That face is terrifying. You can do it, Nozomi. Exactly. Yes, you are. Even if you're fraternal twins, you're still different people. Even identical twins are two different people. Yeah, you're welcome. Now can we drop the whole, like, I am going to scam people out of their money with my end of the world cult thing? Is that is that over and done with now? That would feel like a much better resolution to, <laughs> to the end of this social link. Just Super Saiyan is all. However, I mean, hey, that's another another social link maxed, after all. I'm not going to complain. And of course, it's the heaven, heavenly messenger. The messenger saying, you owe us 132,000 yen. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Wait, I don't want to be the new king. Like, seriously, I don't need to be the king of your cult or the king of the thing. But does this mean I can order off the secret menus, or does this mean I get to eat for free? That's actually, that's probably like the best job for you right there, Nozomi, food critic. I approve. Mm-hmm. As you wish, Nozomi. I will hold on to this for a long time. Good. Is he your little brother just because you're bigger than him? Of course this ramen's really good. That's what you told me. Did you seriously not know? Okay, Nozomi. If you say so. Random. Very, very random. I just realized this ramen is delicious. This is a tasty ramen. Yes, indeed. Akihiko, is that a tasty ramen, or whatever it is you're eating? Okay, Koromaru. Do you want to go on a walk today? Oh, and I guess can come with us. Absolutely, then. Let us go together. And talk about... Assorted things. Hopefully good things. Okay, Koromaru. You, you enjoying yourself? He always looks happy, I guess. He's a dog. Aren't they, like, always smiling? 
I'm looking forward to school as well, actually. It'll help take my mind off stuff, you know? Uh, sure, yeah, that sounds wonderful. I'd love to walk home with you after class tomorrow, I guess. Oh, well, we exactly. We should go back and feed him. But not too much, because we don't want him to have to go out and go to the bathroom, like, in the middle of the night. Because I'm going to be sleeping. Though, I mean, I guess maybe he could go out and go to the bathroom during the dark hour? He could probably let himself out. I wonder if Koro is smart enough that he can just let himself out and go to the bathroom and then come back in and close the door all on his own. He's a pretty smart dog, after all. Maybe. It's kind of... It's, it's an interesting thought... thing going on there. Either way, early morning, back to school, finally, which is either good or bad, depending on who you are. Music... It's a fantastic piece of music. Also, the kids were just talking about the fall as if like, oh, yep, it's gonna happen. And they weren't even, like, freaked out by it or even phased by it at all. That possibly informs me they don't really understand the fall at all. <laughs> oh, Miss Toriumi, you're such a alcohol tease. Okay. Apostrophe? I love apostrophes. With Brondo, I can use apostrophes in words wherever I want to. Even words that don't have apostrophes yet. Which one is correct? It's wrong. Because it was a contraction of it is. Precisely. Uh-huh, which is odd, because normally apostrophe S is possession. However, with it, specifically, there's no apostrophe, because that's a contraction for it is. One of the uh, many, many, many exceptions in the rules of the English language. Um, there are more exceptions than there are rules in English, which is one of the many reasons that English is the hardest language in the world to learn. Like, as a second language for people. Like, Chinese is hard because all the characters, but English is harder. Hey, uh, you busy? Could you come with me for a sec? Uh, sure. What's up, Junpei? It must be important. Let's go to the rooftop. Okay, can I just come? I told her I'd walk home with her after school. What is up, Junpei? Is everything K? Hey, we've really never had a chance to talk, have we? I guess not. Actually, it's almost coming of age day, you know. I used to just think of it as a day off, but now I wonder if I'm even gonna live long enough to celebrate it. It'll be okay, Junpei. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It's been pretty weird around here lately. People have been passing out, others have gone missing. Dude, it's crazy. Senpai said it's because there are too many shadow victims and the memory revision can't keep up. It's all gotta be because of this Nyx. Oh, and have you heard about that doomsday cult? They've been running around town telling everyone they see that the end of the world is coming. Man, we need to do something. And quick. Tell me about it. That is the absolute truth. But it's not just Nyx, you know. Two members of Strega are still alive. They haven't done anything yet, but I know they've got to be planning something. And we need to take care of them, too. Yeah, we do. Wow. Becoming such good friends that I'd trust you with my life. <laughs> I never would have imagined that happening last spring. <laughs> but then again, I never thought it would come to this. Did any of us? You know, I don't think it's completely hit me yet. It's just all so hard to believe. But that doesn't mean we should just sit around and wait for it to happen. You're pretty cool, man. 
That thing was inside you for ten years, and you harnessed its power and made it your own. I'm glad I met you. It's embarrassing to say it, but, but that's really how I feel. We'll always be friends, right? I mean, even after this is all over? Of course we will. I'm glad I met you too, too Junpei. You're a pretty cool guy. For as much crap as I give you, you're still a pretty cool guy nonetheless. Okay, well that was a... That was a nice, touching little scene. Okay, I guess I will be right back to walk home... To walk home with you, okay? First off, I have to go to the map of the Bay Area. Because we need to make our way to... Palonia Mall. Because now that we are back in school... Um... Elizabeth's request for her to take us to... Or take her to our room after school? Uh, well, we haven't been able to do it because it's, when, it's been winter vacation. So, uh, now that it's no longer weekend vacation... Weekend vacation? Winter vacation. Words. Words are a thing. Um, we can finally go on a date with her. Of course we shall, Elizabeth. Are you excited? I'm excited. We get to hang out with, like, the two... Robot type women in our lives today. So, this is the student dormitory where you spend your days. It is indeed. Are you happy with it so far? It's a pretty neat place. There's like floors and couches. So, this is your room. I've never seen many of these things before. Like what? Anyway, regarding my request to visit your room... Well, did it make you a little suspicious? Should it have? Not really. I see. I do have something I'd like to talk to you about. Okay. What's up, Elizabeth? Of course, I was gonna listen to it anyway, game. There's no deciding. There's only listen. During my forays into your world, I encountered many things. All of them are treasured memories. Each one a polished, glittering gem. Walking around the crowded Port Island streets, Sampling the local cuisine, idling the hours away at the shrine, even attending your school for a day. That's when I came to a realization. I had subconsciously been requesting to visit places that were more and more central to your life. And so today, I requested to visit the one place in your world that I could learn the most about you. I requested to visit your room. True. If I may be so bold. Do you recall the day you gave me a tour of your school? How I mentioned that I felt very fulfilled when I touched you? Of course I remember was the first time I ever felt that way. Why did I feel so fulfilled? After coming here, I can finally answer that question. I believe it's because I could feel what you feel and truly experience your life for the first time. We who reside in the Velvet Room wait with great anticipation for guests. Their arrival is our only link to the outside world and gives us a reason to be. By touching you like this, I can have that all for myself. I think I'm beginning to get it. I'll put it more plainly. I'm naive to the ways of your world. And there must have been many times I seemed to act quite strangely. However, even I am not blind to the significance of calling upon a gentleman in his own room. 
Oh, really? If you wouldn't mind, I'd like you to guide me through it. Who am I to say no? Thank you. Don't thank me till we're done. So, um... I feel like a completely different person than the Elizabeth who first stepped into your world. <sighs> if I stay on this side any longer, I fear I will forget my duties entirely. And that would put you at a severe disadvantage, wouldn't it? Yeah. That is why I'll draw a line under my visits here and remain on my side from now on. Thank you very much for acting as a guide on my journey of discovery. I'm very grateful. Now then, though the sorrow may be sweet, let us part. As you wish, Elizabeth. As you wish. I do appreciate everything you do for me in the Velvet Room, however. You're kind of integral to my success. I would like to turn in the request that I just completed, after all. Of course, you're very welcome. And everything else there, too. Uh-huh. Okay. What special thing do we have? Hey! More fusing of Personas stuff that we can fuse now. Sweet! Well, thank you, Elizabeth. I... greatly appreciate it. As always, everything you do for the compendium and everything... No, you've done more for me than I've done for you, Elizabeth. Truly. So, thank you. We got ourselves a rainbow feather, and now I don't think there's any... Oh, I didn't want to view the compendium. I don't think there's any more requests that we can accept that are, like, new, that have shown up. Uh, there are quests we can do. We can finally uh, create a Lilith with Mabufudine, now that we're level seven, or 69. Uh, we're still working on the Platinum Medals, and we can actually uh, cast a couple of these. Um, but that's something we'll have to do in the future. Because right now, right now, after that little 4A with Elizabeth there, I think that's a... Uh, decent word for it. Uh, let's get all the way back to school, because we have a new social link to start. And most of you have probably, well, most of you already, uh, like, determined who it was before, before this episode even started. However, if you hadn't, you probably have by now, based on the fact of who I said I was going to be walking home with after school. Uh, so we just have to make it back upstairs, and then you can see for yourselves... Honestly, who am I kidding? You all know who it is. It's Igus. Of course we have a social link with Igus. Back in the day, I talked to her, and it was like, she doesn't seem human enough to to relate with yet. Or something along those lines. Well, that yet has finally come. And it is now our chance to hang out with her. I guess we could have gone in the front of the classroom. I guess is kind of in the middle of the class. So. I guess. Would you like to walk home? I said I would. What? Of course they're for the best. Well, stool's already let out. Of course I'll walk home with you, I guess. Okay, where... Where is where? I'm very excited. Interesting that even in January, a couple weeks before the end, we're still starting social links. Do you? Here's a pretty nice place. What do you do here, I guess? It is, yeah, this place holds a lot of special memories for all of us. Yep, and he's been a fantastic asset. Saved our lives! Back with Ikutsuki. Very much so, yes. <laughs> it 
Is it? <laughs> Subconsciously, we do a lot of things we don't realize. I sense a little more than faint fetch in their game. There's a little more going on than just faint. I mean, after all, like, the first thing she ever said to us was like, my highest priority is to be with you. Also, yes, uh, the Aeon Arcana, the gold card here. It's the final social link for us to start in this game. Just tack it onto our list of social links to max, after all. Yes, it does. Yes, it does indeed. Uh-huh. Still, though, I mean, same basic principle, I guess. You're becoming more person-like with every passing day, after all. So don't worry about it. It's all, it's all done BK. So, uh, tonight, now that we have started the new social link, uh, hmm... As much as I would have liked to have matched Monkey Where Man today, um, we really ought to get to Tartarus. Um, that is important. I want to go right now, Akihiko. However, I'm not going to let you go. You know I'm going to let Fuka know so that we can not check everybody's status. Nope, I don't need to know. I just want to go. Yes, indeed. So, uh, next time on Let's Play Persona 3 FES, uh, unless I run into any new enemies, I will meet you up at uh, floor 244. Which is where the next boss is. Uh, and yeah, and then we'll probably do the final boss of Tartarus in the next episode as well. Possibly. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, either way, until then, thank you guys so very much for watching this. And I hope you're having a fantastic day.